when you give Adderall to somebody who doesn't require it and they do not have ADD, in those patients, you will see almost like a cocaine-like effect. When you take Adderall, the dopamine is released. Eventually, this dopamine starts to run out. And when the dopamine starts to run out, there's a constant need to replenish it. And that constant need to replenish leads to the addictive potential. Seven to eight hours or so approximately, it will last in your system. Last where you're feeling the effects. Yes, you're feeling the effects, correct. For somebody who is using it in a regular form, they can continue to function quite well without any adverse effects on the brain. However, someone who starts to abuse medication more than necessary, in those particular people, you will see long-term effects, which is almost a burnout where you may start to see irritability, depression, dysphoria, despondency, agitation. And those are just the so-called central <coughs> nervous system effects. And then there is a whole section of the overall impact on the body. It can have numerous cardiovascular implications. So it can increase your blood pressure. It can increase your pulse. It can, in, when people start to abuse it or using higher dosages, it can cause cardiac rhythm, arrhythmias in people. It can cause stroke. It can cause heart attacks. It can cause stomach problems, nausea. Those are the most common ones that people experience.